<laughs> oh, hello everyone, and welcome. Oh, my mic's a little hot, isn't it? Um, that's fine. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Accept Eleven, a guided community playthrough of Final Fantasy XI, brought to you by Axe of the Blood God, Charlie and Dropouts, and our incredibly successful Trans Lifeline charity live stream we held earlier this year. You donated, you wanted this, it's your fault. Accept your fate. I, uh... I am back home. Is this the right aspect ratio? Does this look okay? <laughs> I'm... I'm on a new computer. I'm on a new microphone. Uh, I spent many, many hours today <laughs> getting getting this all set up. Um, I'm sort of back in my little home studio set up. So... I hope this can be the, uh... the approach going forward. Uh... I think all my settings are fine. I hope. Do, do all those carry over? I don't know. Oy, oy, oy. Did all my gamepad stuff. Um, it should be fine. It should be fine. Uh, oh, perhaps... Macros? Yes, of course. Macros are not saved. That's fine. I don't think I really need anything. Um, hmm. Should get some back armor for sure. Oh, uh, where's my? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, some of this stuff is not is not on. Okay. Well. one of these is the one I want. <laughs> uh, I would like both. Show. Let's get high quality shadows. Why not? Animation frame rate. Cuban zones. There we go. It was off. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I know my Choto Momo like the back of my hand. And the back of my hand's aspect ratio was off. You doubted me. You fools. Pray I can display timer display on. Uh, area of effect, yes please. Everything else is mostly okay. I'm pretty sure. Gamepad, I, I worked through. Yeah, there we go. That's what a Choto Momo is supposed to look like. Oh, hello everyone. It's nice to be back. It's nice to be back home. Okay, when we left off, we had finished up the, uh, the Temple of Ugalepi and the Den of Rancor. Rancor. Oh, <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> it is Halloween time. This is a fantastic tune. It's gonna get real annoying, but the first few times, we're gonna have a blast. <laughs> I 
Um, okay, last time we were here, we finished the Den of Rancor and the Temple of Ugalepi. We were told by uh, Graviton to seek out the stones. Oh my gosh, this is loud, too. This is so loud. Good God. Okay. Um, oh, you know what? I should check out. Uh, oh. Hmm. I don't think I did much of my login point collecting. I'm just gonna see if there's anything. I was, I truly, I had many, many hours of prep for this stream because I knew things were going to go wonky and it was still down to the, down to the wire getting online here. Freaking... You know what? I'm going to the one I know. <laughs> uh, yeah, we are getting the... the fall... Extravaganza, which has a bunch of, of trusts that I need on my main, which is going to be nice. Because uh, I'm getting real close to that. What is it, 86? You need 86 trusts before you can take on uh, an upgrade side quest. Um, oh, the patio. The patio is pretty good. Um, no, I don't think Chotomomo really needs any furniture right now. Uh, those are the three pieces you need to build an orchestrion if you want to play some custom music in your home, which I usually do. Uh, did I, did I pick up the Mithra stuff? Did Chotomama get the Mithra gear? Simply cannot remember. Uh, surely I've gotten some of this. Yeah, cowardice. I, I guess not. Seems like a. Seems like a bit of an oversight. Okay. Just hit 55. Congratulations. Um, I I hope you've done your limit break. <laughs> okay. Yeah, your 55 to 60 limit break. That's fun. That's very fun. Uh, just give me one of them. Thank you. What else have we got here? Oh. Uh, I believe I picked up track pants. I mean, uh, these these weapons are fun too because these just give you the costume enchantment that just lets you glamour yourself into the respective archangel. Uh, those are a lot of fun. 
Painting of blue blade, blue blade fell. That's lovely. Um, I might want to get these track pants unless I have already. Um, if not, we can go learn how to do, to, to combine some items. Let's do that. Actually, let's see, we can maybe spend a hundred on a, on a trust or something. Unless, there might not be any trusts in this. Here's what we're gonna do. Track pants. I'd like two pairs of track pants, please. some of these things are in very, very specific cities. Uh, <laughs> just, just going all over the place. Synergy. Yeah, Synergy Crucible. Synergy, not to be confused with Synthesis, uh, is still kind of the same thing, but a little bit different. None of it can be easy. Is that how I do it? No, I don't remember. There we go. Synergy Crucible, set. Let's fill you up with pants. No, no. Synergy and synthesis are very different things. <laughs> I mean, I think they can be used for some synthesis, but then there's also stuff that is only for synergy. Track pants plus one. Now, uh, I'll go pop those in the wardrobe. Let's look at that movement speed plus eight percent. Hot damn! Now, if I'm, I'm feeling so inclined, I can set up a little macro that will quickly switch me from battle gear into my track pants, so that I can run around a little bit faster. Um, makes a difference. It helps. I'm not going to do that right now, though, because I don't feel like making a macro. All right. What the heck were we doing? Zillard. The Headstone Pilgrimage. Uh, somewhere on the island of Zepwell lie the remains of an ancient temple. And that's, that's all you get, buddy. That 
can't that can't just be it uh, remember <laughs> to get all of your story mission stuff out of the way here we go get some sparks get some experience oh my gosh complete Kazam's chieftainess this is I'm way behind on accepting these oops complete the temple of Ugalepi okay this should be the one yes so once again if if your your mission information doesn't give you a ton to go off of always check in with your quests you never know it might give you a little bit more uh, this one isn't the most helpful in the world some like you might have seen earlier will just straight up give you coordinates on a map that uh, from where for where you need to go to either accept your next quest or, or finish it off or whatever um, so here we go examine each Kermit headstone Sermit? I don't think I've ever said it out loud. Hmm. Uh, has been found through a vanadiel. A complete headstone pilgrimage. We will accept that. Uh, I finished all of you for now, yeah. Okay. The Headstone Pilgrimage. Friends, this is this is the big one. This is the doozy. So I'm just going to I'm gonna bring up my guide here. Oops, again. Wrong <laughs> wrong keyboard. Once again, I am scrolling past the fandom wiki pages. Going to BG Wiki. Due to the long nature of this mission, it is recommended that you take precautions to ensure that you have received the key items. This mission can take a while, as it requires travel to a lot of different places, some in far corners of large, dangerous zones. Always ensure that when checking a headstone, you receive the message that you obtained the key item you're too far away from if you're too far away the game can give you the message you need to move closer to key item and at a quick glance this can appear the same as you acquiring it be sure to double check um okay i don't think i want to do the earth fragment yet um, yeah, because that's all the way out in the Altepa Desert, which is going to be a bit of a hike. Um, maybe we'll do, we'll do one a little bit closer. Ice fragment should be easy. Maybe let's try that. Oh, God. <laughs> the fire in Ifrit's Cauldron. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm getting flashbacks. <laughs> Boy. This one's sure something, huh? <laughs> Okay, well we can do... Gosh, do we have Fei Yin 1.2? I do not think so. Don't know why we would. It's in Florigandi. Fei Yin 
Calm point one. Um, we can probably... We can work our way there, though, right? Yeah, we go... be going from Kubia... <laughs> I'm telling you, this, this mission is... This one's something else. I think uh, I think this shouldn't be too bad. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this. That's, I know why everything feels slow. Uh, where's my... You in miscellaneous? Can't wear shadows, weather effect. The model is displayed. Icon types, footsteps, keyboard size. Where are you? Where are you? No. Where? Uh, what? Where is it? Where's the thing? How have I missed this? No. No. Not colors. Windows? Shared. Here we go. Window effect. Off. There we go. Oh, yeah, but I don't have my... This is devastating. This is... Devastating. Come here. Here we go. Uh... I don't even know. I'm not gonna set them up right now. However, I will get some buddies out here. Oh, look, everyone farming their ambuscade items, I see. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna sort my trusts, too. Once again, Ryan deserves more screen time. Okay, if I was heading to... Um, if anyone's familiar with sort of the, the late game activity Vanabout, I just snuck in, got a, the second tier of rewards from that for this go around. It's the first time I've participated knowingly. I think I think I just ended up getting a few plaudits. Um, in the last one, but I didn't really understand how it worked or what you did. Um, what Van about is once you're level 99, you can sort of participate in a worldwide 
quest to earn points that go towards a reward that affects everyone. If you're someone who's been using trusts and you've noticed the Cornelia trust in, in your list and don't remember where you got her, she is from Vanabout. Do it every few months. I guess it's like a, I guess it's like every season, maybe. Um, but yeah, it is. If you want the best rewards, which are very, very good rewards, you've got to, you got to put some time in and you've got to be able to do some, some high level stuff. And it's, uh. It's tricky. So, I don't know if I need to participate every time, but I'm glad I did once. It's kind of one of those things where I don't necessarily want it to turn into a chore. You know? Sometimes I'll get up to something in 14 and I'll realize... Uh, oh, if you stand around, will mobs respawn? Uh, they will. They take a minute, though. Yeah, every, every once in a while I found myself realizing I was just kind of doing chores. That ain't no fun. Closest thing I will do to chores is making sure I do my my PvP battle pass thing in 14. Because I always like getting those mounts and all that stuff. Those are fun. I like them. Um, yeah. These are all viable routes through here. Seems like it. Nothing in the way. All right. So, how are we all doing? Saw those first peeks at the Final Fantasy Magic the Gathering crossover. And who boy, let me tell ya. The first thing I thought when I saw those was do people not know that there's already a Final Fantasy trading card game? <laughs> With plenty of art both new and old from series veterans and beloved illustrators. <laughs> There's already a bunch of those guys. I mean, sure, these are going to be fine and great and cool, but if, if you're excited for the collecting aspect... Let it be known that, you know, um, oh, uh, I don't think I have to fight anything for this one. Yeah, I mean that's that's the thing with this Magic the Gathering set is it's it's probably going to be the greatest hits. They're probably going to be 
talking mostly about stuff everyone expects. Um, whereas, oh, here's this is an important place for summoners. An ice fragment, a single fragment of light. The way in which it shines suggests that it is resonating with something. Obtained key item, ice fragment. We don't have anything secret. How are you obtained this monument's ice fragment? Try searching for another. Okay, one down, seven to go. You already got into the Final Fantasy TCG. So you can feel superior. Yeah. I, uh... I don't play. I don't... I, I can't... I don't... I, I just don't think I can do a card game anymore. But, I've definitely bought a bunch of singles of characters that I like. It has been predominantly FF11 characters. <laughs> yeah, I'm too poor for a TCG. Uh, you've already seen one of those things in Behemoth's Domain. Well, <laughs> funny you should mention that, because that is exactly where I am headed. But, so the, the Magic the Gathering thing is, is probably going to be fine for people who want a, a Cloud and a Lightning and a Sephiroth and a Yuna, whatever. But that Final Fantasy TCG, that's been going on for ages. It's got stuff for the sickos. It's got new art of... Final Fantasy Dimensions characters. It's got new art of, of Crystal Chronicles characters. It goes a bit into, you know, Brave Exvius and Mobius. Uh, all the mobile games. Gets into all the spin-offs. You know, everybody's all of their alternate costumes from from Dissidia. Yeah, I mean, I I would honestly be a little bit surprised if if the Magic the Gathering one had stuff like Shadow Lord. Um, yes, I'm I'm sure. I mean, we'll probably get the characters that show up in Dissidia, because those are sort of proven to be ones that, that people wanted enough-ish. Oh, I saw something devastating the other day that in... I think it was maybe on the cutting room floor or, or a wiki like that, and I saw that uh, Dissidia NT had had the files in it that suggested the next DLC characters were going to be Prish and, uh, oh, who was it? Somebody else. A uh, non-11 character, but I was... Man. Man. Breaking my heart. Mind you, I did not care for Dissidia NT. Yeah, well, it, it was NT. Yeah. I was always surprised that they didn't make a port of Duodecim for 3DS. I always thought that would have been perfect.
that like them adding Camelot wasn't a reason that got me to play Eleven again. <laughs> of course. Swirling vortex. I think I'm going the right way. I think I'm a high enough level that nobody's gonna bug me. Port Duodecim to PS4. Because Square doesn't want to re-release games that look like that. Square is so embarrassed of anything that looks like it came out five years ago or later. Um, they, have, they have a brain problem that needs fixing. Uh, it's very frustrating. All their PSP games are gorgeous. I mean, I I, I played that uh, I played that Crisis Core remaster, sort of. Um, re eh, I don't know if I'd call it a remake, um, but I played that sucker. And, uh, sure, it looks, yeah, it looks nice, but also, there was nothing wrong with the way that game looked on PSP. Hot damn. Duodecim. Looked amazing. Third birthday. Say what you want about third birthday. No, don't, because I probably disagree with it. No one say anything about Third Birthday. I don't want to talk about it with anybody. It's a it's a cool game. Uh, that's a beautiful, beautiful video game. I'm gonna... Put a minimum of thousand hours into the city after doing that. So, yeah, I, I'm sure. I, I've got. I've probably got. I don't know. Two to three hundred hours in the original, and then again in in Duodecim. God, those were good. And then I. I don't know. I, I sort of reached a point where I, I was just kind of farming for stuff and I didn't really know to what end like I didn't there wasn't anything I really needed you know what I mean I was just sort of playing to be playing Pretty sure I fight somebody here, yeah? How many trusts do I have? Do I have? That's it. Yeah, okay. Yes, I'll cover. Uh, okay. The air around me has changed. Oh, I need to rearrange my magic again. Gall darn. Gall darn.
hit me with stuff. Seems like it's going well. <laughs> Excellent. skill I want to use. I don't remember what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, Friend, there's bats and stuff on me. Oh no. Ah, my controller is being real bad. Got a real sensitive uh, left trigger. It tends to open up my macros. What's so funny about this game, I'm, I'm running this on a much better computer, and it doesn't necessarily run better. I understand that uh, there's, it, it, can, it can actually run a little bit worse on more modern computers. Um, I think I sort of understand the, the theory behind it, but it's still very funny. Playing this on my wife's dedicated gaming laptop doesn't run any better than on our doofy little notebook. I do love when I go look at my spell book. I happen to have learned a bunch of blue magic without realizing it. Okay. Cleared out that room. Lightning fragment is ours. Two out of eight. Six remain. Um, I don't know if I've been to... Ooh, I mean, it would be f fun to go to Zeta. 
No, that that's an interesting one. The, look, this is going to be an episode. This is this is a stream that is mostly going to be boring stuff. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the boring easy ones, and then for the next stream, I'll see if I can rally the troops, get some people the the tough ones that are difficult to navigate. The I, I'd love to do Ifrit's Cauldron as a group. I'd like to do uh oh yeah maybe making our way out to Altepa Desert. As as a as a crew might be fun. Um, yeah, let's do. Let's go for wind. Let's go for wind. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> oh God. Okay. We'll go Valkram uh, to Cape Tarragon. That'll be fun. That's a fun little walk. Oh, should I have my... Oh, dang, warp ring. Or warping. Valkram to Cape Terrigan is easy, right? Yeah. I think. I remember it being pretty chill. Okay. I'm gonna be operating on vibes. Feeling this one out. Start our journey. Beautiful port town of Selbina. What? What? <laughs> Here too? <laughs> really? I was not expecting that. Interested. The, the the Halloween event, the, the Harvest Festival, is actually pretty good for getting some orchestrian roles. Um, there's some good stuff. Uh, let's just pop our, our, uh, our track pants on. Might as well. Eight percent bonus. Not gonna leave that that kind of money on the table. Oh, I guess I could also. I don't have any fun mounts. My favorite mounts are all either timed uh, events or 
I have to have beaten Zillart. Or I think maybe Promathia, even. Yeah, just gonna use my track pants. Hey, if you're just joining us, welcome to Accept Eleven, guided community playthrough of Final Fantasy XI, brought to you by the Acts of the Blood God podcast and the Charlie and Dropouts spin-off podcast all about Final Fantasy XIV. In preparation of Dawn Trail's 7.1 patch, Crossroads, I am playing through Final Fantasy XI with... The Acts of the Blood God, Charlie and Dropout's Discord community. And it's been a real treat. I tell you, we got through the base game in... You can, you can fly through that sucker in under 30 hours. It's easy stuff. If you are intimidated by Final Fantasy XI, or if you've thought about playing it but aren't quite sure, if you're looking forward to Echoes of Vanadil, but don't have any idea who any of these people are, come, come uh, check it out. We've had some some pretty exciting group events like our raid on Castle's Vol and our journey through the Den of Rancor. 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 been delightful. And gosh darn it, we're going to get through, what is it? Oh, it's the 25th today. Hmm, I was saying we were going to get through Zillert before the end of the month. Maybe give or take a day or two. Uh, Gustav Tunnel is over. Where again? I love this. This is the kind of wandering that I love. This gives me gives me life. Over there. There's some weird stuff here though, isn't there? Isn't there some cool things to look at? Investigate, whatever. An evil presence. Ooh, interesting. Isn't there one of the stones left behind by one of the iron hearts here? Oh, the song runes. These are for Bard, yeah? I like it here. I like it a lot. As of this recording, uh, we're, what, uh, five, six days away from the next live letter, where I assume we're going to be getting some more information on the raids. Uh, a couple days ago, we got a new screenshot of Prish with big big old mitts on uh, worth noting that that prish is not wearing a hat just saying that's interesting I do not have a map of Gustav tunnel that's okay uh, that's okay that's fine actually it rules didn't want one. Um, 
yeah. Uh, we, we will see if if that prish not wearing a hat is is important or not. Um, her big goofy mittens are a lot of fun. Also, this one very important seems to be standing behind her. I think that's interesting. There are, there are some signs pointing to the idea that uh, maybe this isn't so much going to the Vanna deal of FF11, which which would be which would be nice. I'm worried it's going to be a shard, which you know isn't the worst case scenario but also not my best case scenario. I've just heard some theories lately, people throwing around things that are pure speculation, tossing it around as if it's the gospel. And... I would just like to see those people proven wrong. Oh, I have a feeling you would aggro me. Um, well, the worst takes... Uh, there's just a lot of, like... Well, pe people assuming that we are, in fact, going to the Vanna deal of FF11 and people also saying that we are going to the Vanna deal of FF11 and that they're going to make it a shard of 14 so that both of those things will be true and then they're getting upset that that would be insulting because you've just turned all of the world of 11 into just a tiny corner of 14 and that feels like it would be doing it a disservice which yes I do also think that would be doing it a, a disservice but also they've never done anything like that before with any of the other shards or final fantasies that they've drawn inspiration from why why would they start doing that now um, and then these people are getting angry about this possibility of a thing that they're just sort of speculating on and and it's it's just sort of whipping up this like anger about a thing that isn't true and has no precedent <laughs> which I think is odd uh, I guess I should have got the map for Cape Terrigan uh, I think it's pretty small, though. I, I don't think there's a whole lot going on here. Okay. Where am I headed? Uh, do I have to worry about manticores? I don't think I do. I do not think I do. Oh. oh. Did I come in through the wrong... Is this... Hmm. Where am I? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. I, six. God! <laughs> is this really not a... Uh... Uh, yes, I was just talking about the, the shot of Prish. With her big weird mittens. Um, the person standing behind her. And the fact that she's not wearing her hat. Um, yeah. These are all... 
interesting. They're all interesting things. Really, can I get? Nah, can I not get here from Gustav Tunnel? Is this only? Oh boy. Oh. Uh, God, Valley of Sorrows, huh? Valley of Sorrows. No, that's. That's all Cape Tarragon. Where in God's name? I have to get him in Kuftal Tunnel? That would be sick. Uh. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Can I help you? Sirs and or madams <laughs> Boy Okay, we'll start off for Cape Terrigan, both the home point and Unity Warp that out close to the headstone. Okay, well I don't have the home point and I will not be using Unity Warp. How do how do I get here if I'm a normal guy? How do how do just average blokes like me get out to Cape Terrigan? The benefit to the magic set is people will actually play with me. Sure, if, if it's a matter of wanting people to play with, then yeah, go for it. However, for the people who are collectors who just want fun little little bits of fun little bits of art. Okay, you're stomping around, knocking my controller around with your freaking rumble. Uh, I'm going to consult. My atlas. Uh, Gustav Tunnel 239. Okay. Tunnel leads to Cape Tarragon. I'm sorry. Page zero? What? You're telling me to look at page zero for Cape Tarragon? Ah! Ah! Knocking my controller around with your big old feet. Get out of here. Um, yeah, I, I think it might have to be Kuftal Tunnel, which... Uh... Is annoying. Yeah, um... I think this is a. This has to be a typo. Yeah, because Valkram Dunes is not on page zero, and neither is Cape Terrigan. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, then Kufdal Tunnel. Uh, okay, Cape Terrigan. 
Uh, Altepa Desert. Oh my god. Um, how? Do I have to get out to Altepa Desert before I can get... <laughs> uh, okay. Which would be... Goodness. Um, yeah, Cape Tarragon area guide. What the heck? Cape Tarragon Valley of Soros. Yeah. Comfortable tunnel two thirty seven. Tepa Desert. Oh gosh. Kuftadi. Um. Rabau. Korloka Tunnel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, page 142. Let me see. Let me see. I mean, I guess, yeah. Altepa. Altepa. Uh, uh. 36. Zeron Mines? Yeah. Back, back to Bastok. Hmm. Interesting. Don't remember this one being this hard to figure out. You know, I was following the guide closer. That is a that is a cruel little one way drop. That's that's a mean one. Let me tell you. Zaron mines it is. It's a good thing we've got that eight percent movement bonus. Which like someone mentioned before. Uh, because of the because of the base running speed increase, it's more like a six percent speed increase. Okay. Making our way through Zarin Mines. To Koraloka, bring us out. Yeah. To. So here's here's the thing. We are we are about to go underneath the the strait that separates uh, is it Zepwell Island with with the mainland. Pretty sure I have this already, yeah. Any two?
through here now. What do I need to do to get through here? Yeah. Permission to pass has been granted to adventurers who have proven their worth. That's me. been doing this for an hour and a half? Is that true? Is that real? The true facts? I do, I like this trip. I like this. It, it feels good. It feels right. It's definitely got a very, uh, yeah, you are, you are passing through underneath a large body of water feel to it, you know? really do make you go down. Oops. <laughs> really? <laughs> uh, okay. I'm sure it'll be fine. doing just fine. A jelly. I love this. This is good stuff in here. I feel like I'm very surprised, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, maybe there is a place like this, but I'm really surprised that there aren't more um, areas in Eleven that, that where the access to them is dictated by the tide, you know? I would love if there were, if there were places where the tide goes out or comes in and that either, like, come on. This kicks ass. We're under the sea. I love anything that is determined by the tide. That's a big one for me. That's that's a shortcut to a happy victor. Determine things by phases of the moon and the tide. And now we're talking.
shoal cave in ruby and sapphire. I love that stuff. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go. Let's try south. Oh, look at that! <laughs> I believe I have chosen correctly. Hello. Hello, survival guide. That wasn't bad. I imagine that's sort of what it would be like. I like Zepwell Island gives me a real like this is this is Zepwell, right? Yeah. Am I Yeah. Oops. Wrong keyboard. Yeah, just off the southwest coast, the continent of Quan. It feels like, it's like what it would be like if you were walking underneath. If, if you left, um, one moment please. Uh, like if you I, I imagine Zepwell wa walking to Zepwell from Bastok under underground feels like if there was a tunnel that led from Vancouver under the Georgia Strait to, to Vancouver Island that's what that feels like you know am I okay? Why am I just walking? Can I not run? What is going on? What? <laughs> what have I done? Did I, did I push a button that toggles whether I can run or not? Oh god. Oh god! What did I do? Is there such a button? That's not working. Oh god, there we go. <laughs> Thank you! Never done that before. Okay! Alright! Altepa! get to well I guess we can go while we're here we'll go get that home point uh, for the Shinkansen went all the way to Hokkaido and to take a train from Aomori to Hakodate has to run under the sea like sorry that kicks ass. 
that's the best thing I've ever heard. God, I love trains. Ooh, I love trains that go places you wouldn't expect a train to go. Sometimes trains just go through mountains, or underwater, or across lots of water, or... God. Trains are incredible. You've been on that train? I want to go on that train. We were just planning our next trip to Japan yesterday. I gotta get on this train. And the... the it's, it's hopefully gonna be our Hokkaido trip. We'll see. We don't know. I'm just gonna pop these on. Just... Just for the heck of it. Just for the smell of it. in a while. It has been a while. I, yeah, that's, that's the dream. Is to do some, do some snowboarding and skiing and some, hit some hot springs. This is the same tunnel. I've heard it has slowed down because the cramped space plus the immense friction of the displaced air causes trains to like wobble or something. I, yeah, I bet, I bet. Def recommended the train to Sapporo. That's that's probably what we would do. Might do a. A train one way and a, and a plane the other, too, because they're very good about giving you very cheap domestic flights, um, if you're a tourist. trick door into quicksand caves? I sure do. Here we go. Yes. Yes. I am I am very interested in this. Stone and a meteorite. Or a soil gem. Soil gems are. Okay. Tremor stone, meteorite, soil gem, or geode. Tremorstone, meteorite. Thank you, lockpicks. Um, I don't need a chocobo right now. I 
will go get that survival guide. What's, uh, what kind of experience would these suckers be? Too weak to be worthwhile. Okay. Let's roll. Here, maybe we should just do the earth fragment. Maybe. Maybe. That's cool. didn't spend much time here when I when I first played through um, I, I assume there's some reason why a lot of people gather in Rabao um, there's like I think there's a isn't there a veridical conflux there or something I don't know um, I was definitely not at a point where I needed to engage with any of that but uh, Ah, yes, rusty bucket fishing. What? What does that mean? Oh, Odyssey. Yeah, right. Okay. Everyone would fish up rusty buckets there because you could sell them for big money. 5k a pop. It took no skill to fish. Lots of bots. I see. Huh. care for that. <laughs> well, let's see if I can book it across the desert and get away from these guys. Ah, uh-oh. <laughs> I got a long way to go. This could be rough.
God bless that 8% movement speed bonus. God, I love my track pants. guys? Yeah. Yeah, losers. Losers. <laughs> That's what happens when you can run 8% faster. But really only more like 6% faster. Straight shot. This is nice. This is, uh, you know, I, I've only done Zillert stuff once, and it was a few years ago now. So it's nice, kind of reacquainting myself with these with these spaces. is nice too. I like I like how open it is but still with with some some points of interest. It's good stuff. Rabau. Good tunes here. to mention this came up on my, on my YouTube algorithm it was just posted I think maybe two or three weeks ago and someone j d did what looks like might be the world record speed run for uh, Shadow Lord in five and a half hours I think it's five hours 38 minutes or something like that um, I started watching it last night and I fell asleep in the middle of it because who wouldn't? But I'm really excited to to give that a a closer look. It's it's pretty entertaining. I think eleven speed runs are kind of incredible. Um, speaking of speed runs, if you're listening to this, uh, our good friend and the voice of Wook Lamott, Cena uh, Breyer is going to be speedrunning A Realm Reborn, I believe tomorrow. So if you're listening to this after the fact, you have missed it. But she is running uh, ARR for charity. It's going to be at least a 15-hour run. So go over there, give her some support. Uh, I believe that's going to be on her uh, Twitch channel, though I'm not... 100% sure about that. Um, I believe 
that's Squid Cena. Squid S E N A. Uh, oh yeah, there we go. Vertical conflux. Yeah, there's so many people in Rabao. Chugging. Get away from these people. God, that's a great look. That Corsair top rules. It's also a good um, female Elvon hairstyle. I feel like I don't see that very often. Oh yeah, Maura is is packed constantly. I get it, cause whatever. You gotta do your gotta do your ambuscade. But also, yeah. Come on. Hello. An enigmatic contrivance hovers in silence. Yeah, they, they should put it put a second guy somewhere else, right? Yeah, Bibiki Bay would be great. Give give people a reason to go anywhere. Um okay. Well made it to Rabao. That's good. That's exciting. Congrats. Um which means, okay, <laughs> what were we doing? <laughs> so now we want to go through the north tunnel, which takes us back to Cape Tarragon, because it just so happens there's two massive underground, underwater tunnels that lead from Zepwell to the mainland. Uh, so instead of climbing up a relatively slight hill. We venture across half a continent. Um, okay. That's what we're doing then. What's your deal, Angry Goat? That's one of those things about doing this kind of playthrough, is I wish I could... I do wish I could slow down and take the time to, you know, talk to everybody and, and do, do some more side quests and things, but... But also... As well, might as well. Talk to whoever is doing stuff out here. Yeah, 
Look at you. Leveling dancer. Your beret. Your chocobo shirt. Boy, you... What are you doing? <laughs> Get... Are you just a bot? Or something? I don't know. I can't tell what your deal is. But have some... Have some self-respect. Put some armor on. You freak. Seven. Don't mind that. In fact, I do have up to my level 75 limit break done. So I could. We'll, uh, we'll see how I'm feeling later tonight. Because I could maybe just spend a little time leveling. If we get through three of these headstones, we'll call that a success. Maybe we started a little bit late. We'll see how long this one takes. I mean, we're, we're just about there. And then, uh, you know, we wrapped four of them. That's, I mean, that's half of them on paper. Practically not so much, but certainly feel like progress. just looking at like oh maybe not this guy it's I think maybe I, I I see it a lot in in the wings of the goddess areas and in some of the later areas seeing the, the way skyboxes improved in resolution it's one of those things that I personally find interesting See, the draw distance works here. It's not as much distracting pop in. Oh no. No! <laughs> no! Ow. Oh god. Oh god. What? <laughs> oh no! Go, go, go! Go! Go, Momo, go! You can do it. You're so close. You're so close. Oh God. If I'm dead on the other side, I'm gonna be real bummed.
Uh, I've been disconnected. How we doing? What's up? What happened there? Buddy? No! <laughs> All right. Okay. Give that a second. That was bad timing. <laughs> maybe maybe we'll we'll pop back in and we'll be just fine right where we left off, right? Right? Uh, well, this is a good opportunity. I'm going to take a quick break, go go grab a, a drink of water, and uh, I'll be back in like five minutes. I'll give, give Choto Momo time to log out properly and, and hop back in. So, I'll be back in a second.
Let's see where we are. <laughs> We're back all the way over here. I um I have it set to the you can set it to randomly rotate through all the different title screen songs. I do that just to just to keep it fresh. Oh, yeah. Oh, I am on Bahamut. Um but that's okay. I I got that I got that survival guy that's pretty close. It's it's a relatively short walk. But thank you. <laughs> Uh, yes, my, my multiple characters. So I have my my first one. It's my my Elvon. She was my my first character that I started uh, also on Bahamut. Um, and then I didn't really know what I was doing, which was fine. But then when I kind of figured the game out a little bit more, I decided I wanted to start another character, um, and that's my Hume on Asura. Yeah, I've got, I've got two characters on Bahamut, and my main is on Asura. I promise I, I, I didn't know for sure that I was going to was going to be making another lady. Um, there was there was part of me that was that was pretty darn sure I was going to go for a Galka. This time around, but I don't know. Chat decided it's time to, to Taru Taru. And I wasn't going to be up a, a boy, Taru. All their hair sucks. <laughs> Also, I can't think of any, um, oh, that would have been closer. Can't think of any, um, like, canonical, uh, uh, blue mage NPCs that are Taru. I'm sure there is one. Maybe, maybe one of the ones at the, the staging point skills. I feel like they're all not. Those NPCs, those those blue mages, the immortals, just chilling out over at the the staging points that all have just kind of horrible, sad things to say. There's the one, there's the woman who's uh, I think she's Hume, who just f seems like she's just barely hanging on. <laughs> it's wild. Gotta say, I, I appreciate what they did with Eleven Blue Mage. I think it's really cool and fun and interesting and smart and and a very fresh take. 
I don't think anything's ever going to be 14 Blue Mage for me. I love it. I love the storyline so much. I love Martin. I love how much New World lore we got because of Blue Mage. Uh, just does it for me, man. Day yesterday, climbing Zinni and M ladder just for a single chance to fight Tiger the Chimera to learn to billion. Didn't learn it. I had to talk to that one immortal lady guarding the entrance to all cells undersea ruins. Yeah! Yeah! Man. I don't recognize anything you just said, except for Immortal Lady and Alzadal's ruins, but... That sounds sick! <laughs> hmm. I not have the map for Kuftal Tunnel. <laughs> I should have. I should have. Is this a place where people level? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh... Anyone wanna kill that for me? Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate that. Uh, what I think I've heard before, people complaining that it's not 11s. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, um... Yeah, I, I, I know a lot of 11 people are very, very fond of this, this take on Blue Mage, but uh, 14s just means a lot to, to me, I think it's... I think it's just very fun. See people in here every time you've gone. Okay, well, I don't know. Maybe this is a good little leveling spot. Yeah, it's full of people. What are you all doing? Who are you? Let me see. Let me, let me see what killing this crab does for me. Oh, I gotta figure out these logs. I also need to sort my magic. We'll do that.
worth it? 448. Uh, not really. I got, I got better stuff I can do. That's fine. More power to whatever these people are doing. Wish them all the best. I'm just gonna head north. <laughs> ah, I should have picked up a map. This looks promising. <laughs> Love the cactar design in this game, yeah. Yeah, they are something else. We'll twist around. No, is going under? No, maybe it will? Could it be? Yes, yes. Mm, no, no, no. Okay, yes, yes, good, good. Feels promising. Mm, less so, colder, colder. Mm. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna take, there was a left route. There's a left route. follow this wall maybe let's see what that does for me isn't that the like most reliable way out of a maze just pick a wall and follow it eventually something will happen right Maybe that's not true at all. I think there are definitely ways a maze could be constructed that would ensure that you never reached the exit if you followed one wall. Or maybe not. Maybe that is true. No, it can't be. Hey! Huh? Huh? Cape Terrigan? Cape Terrigan. What did I tell ya? No map. You fool. Okay. Cape Terrigan. Just in case, don't remember what is out here. 
Is there a home point even? Oh yeah. Yeah, there is. Uh, I don't know where it is. I don't have the map. Well, let's hope find the home point. Not a fan of the coral design. And hey, hey, being a Libra doesn't mean you have to do anything. Gosh darn it. We need not be bound by the shackles of astrology. We contain multitudes. There we go. That's something. Uh... Up. I need to stop checking my map. I grabbed the survival guide. Uh, is there... Is there a home point here, too? I don't know where it is. I just got the survival guide. Which is, is good enough for now, I imagine. Let's go up here. Let's go up here. Again, map isn't going to do anything. <laughs> Stop looking at it. get up there isn't that where I want to be where am I h7 from H7. How do I... What do you mean? How? How? What? No! What? Behind you, a ramp? What? Where? This? I don't go nowhere. Uh... No need to apologize, thank you. <laughs> thank you for your input. I am I am open to any and all suggestions at this point. That's crazy. 
Unless, unless there's something further over here. Does this loop around? Maybe it loops around. Please loop around. Please loop around. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. Phew. Stuck in a thing. I'm stuck in a thing. Uh, Choto Momo, go! <laughs> no, Choto Momo. <laughs> oh no! Ah. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, I know where it is. I have my survival guide. We're gonna be okay. doing go get maps <laughs> get maps you fool as fun as this is just get the maps just get the maps I am impressed, making it through the, the tunnels. Mapless. Pretty fun. Pretty fun. Maybe one of these streams I'll, I'll do the, the Halloween event. want Ifrit's Cauldron. Good lord. Quicksand Caves, yes please. Oh my god, that's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> uh, okay, let's just grab all these 3,000 gallon ones. Soros and Gustav Tunnel. Ah. Uh, okay. Yeah, we'll leave. That's that's chains stuff. We'll leave those for now. I'm sure I'll forget them again.
Also, Shalmari, uh, how how has your playthrough been going? <laughs> I know you, you hopped in relatively recently. If you're still in the chat. Assuming you're still around. Level 30 Thief, 21 Warrior, and on 1-3. Wow. That's... That's pretty... Uh, that's pretty high level for just being on... Uh, on... Chapter 1, essentially. You like to farm. <laughs> well, good. I hope you're able to join us whenever we get to Dynamis. Yes, you are. Well... Well, fine. Fine! Yeah, I care. Good God. Am I gonna be able to kill you? No, I'm not. <laughs> Bad at this game. <laughs> Just terrible. What am I doing? no trust out here because I didn't push the trust button. up and I'll kill one of these and see if it's worth it to maybe after I grab the the fragment maybe I'll do a little tiny bit of leveling here just a just a just a smidge Thank you. 
music. Just not not quite worth it. Not quite. That's okay. I'm going to grab this fragment, and then I think I will probably call it a night. Because that's good progress. Three out of eight fragments. It's going to feel good. I'm going to appreciate that I did that later. Got eerily silent for a minute there. No footsteps. No wind. No nothing. That's a good looking moon. Oh, I love a moon. Where are you? Get over here. Look at that. Stuck in the grass. Stuck in the grass. Uh, where is... There should be a little place. Uh, down here. frame rate back up. <laughs> Boy. Just the the dust. Cuts that frame rate in half, huh? A fitting moon for the cloister of gales indeed. It is Wind's day. Wind's day. After all, Wind's day. Wednesday, full moon and 93% full. That's pretty darn full.
Uh, uh, things over here. Yeah, I don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. Get my, get my home point. Oops, not full inventory, huh? Gosh, one thing about watching this this speed run is just the incredible menuing. Like taking every single opportunity to Oh, I like that. That's fun. That's fun. Registering a shadow where uh where it wasn't quite sure there should be one. Fun. Um Yeah, that's neat. Somebody, somebody accidentally put in a little flag for switching on the shadow. Neat. Video games, man. Video games. Uh... But yeah, watching, like, any time he has a straightaway where he can just turn on auto-run for a little bit, oops, um, he is setting up macros for an hour later. Um, it's, it's very cool. It's so well thought out and planned out, and it's, it was fascinating. I will probably, I'll, I'll post a link to it over on the Discord. Video Juegos, man. It's very cool. Yeah, five and a half hours to rough up Shadow Lord. Valeneral's AoE just cleared that one through fight in one hit. <laughs> okay. Uh, do we fight a thing here? Let's find out. Cold wind chills you to the bone. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, what's your deal? You have a whole story, don't you? You have some kind of... there's something... You're, you're some kind of guy, aren't you?
What's your deal? Oh, have to move closer. Good thing I'm paying attention. Obtained key item, wind fragment. Okay. Well, we got our home point and everything. Let's head back home. All right. Well, hey, there we go. Um, not the most exciting stream. Again, we're just sort of plugging away at uh, at the headstone pilgrimage. That was three out of eight. I think in two more sessions we can have this done. And then, you know, it's not exactly a straight shot to the end of Zillert, but that's that's kind of most of it done. Um, look at all these, all these crab shirts. I want a crab shirt. That looks real goofy with your white mage hood, buddy. Rethink that. Oh, there we go. There's the Synergy Furnace. <laughs> uh, I'm right next to it. <laughs> All right. Well, that was, uh, that was the first little chunk of that mission. It's a doozy. Like I say, two more sessions. We should probably be able to wrap it up. I will try and organize uh, the next one so that we can bring a few people along. Uh, a burden shared is a burden halved and all that. And, um, I don't know. Stuff like Ifrit's Cauldron is is pretty, pretty fun. Um, oh, man. Oh, I can't wait until we... There's some there's some Promathia stuff that I can't wait to do as a group. Um, again, this has been Except Eleven, a guided community playthrough of Final Fantasy XI brought to you by the Acts of the Blood God podcast. If you're interested in joining us for this playthrough, which I highly recommend, you can head on over to patreon.com slash bloodgodpod and for one, just simply one dollar, you will get access to the Discord. Uh, that's where everyone is sort of uh, uh, comparing notes and sharing their experience. Um, it's also usually where I put up the, the schedules in advance. So if you want to know when we'll be, we'll be gathering to all play together, um, that's where you can you can find that out. And uh, if if you decide to start up Eleven, and you want some some help, we have a great community over there who's been very helpful and very fun. And we're all just kind of learning. I'm still always learning new stuff. I feel like every session I'm learning something new. Because um, I've only been playing the game for for uh, four years, so I'm I'm still a relative newbie. Um, and it's been a joy playing with everyone. So. Please, uh, if you've been listening, then then come come join us. What is the command here? Um, yeah, I'll be back mm, sometime next week. Again, schedule will be up over the Discord. Uh, thanks, everyone. That was I. It was refreshing to have to try to navigate something without a map. I like it. I like it a lot. Thank you all so much for spending your Friday evening hanging out, watching this. I will see you next time. Bye.